Welcome to Blue Knot Day and welcome to this 10 minute session on trauma sensitive yoga. My name's Shirley Hicks and I'm co founder of Trauma Sensitive Yoga Australia. We've been running since 2012 and we provide training both for mental health clinicians and yoga teachers about how to use movement and breath to help regulate a dysregulated nervous system. Now, if you're joining us today, you might have an experience of a dysregulated nervous system. We all do. But some of the things that can make this even more significant for people is if you've had significant traumas in your life. So a dysregulated nervous system is one that finds it hard to settle and rest, to find relief in just being. We might have problems sleeping. You may have disruptions in eating. You may have problems concentrating. Uh, you may have a really busy mind or experience periods of just absolute fatigue and exhaustion or sort of doona days as I call them. So in today's practice, we're going to explore how bringing some movement and awareness to the breath can actually help regulate nervous system. Now, some of you may have been to a yoga class before and have found it less than satisfactory or any sort of movement class. So today's movement particularly is very gentle um, it's not a rigorous practice at all. So if you have any pre-existing health conditions, you should be absolutely fine. But if you're not sure, remember, you can always stop at any time. Uh, a couple of things that would be good to have handy is a glass of water for hydration, always good. And if you've got a pillow handy, you can always stop now to go and get some of this um, nice long pillow. And you can put that pillow behind your black back. Or if you have short legs, a pillow under the feet can actually help you sit a little bit more back into your chair. So if you feel the benefit of that, uh, grab yourself a pillow so that you can be comfortable in this practice. We're going to work mainly in the chair. So taking a moment to just arrive, and you might be aware of feeling the floor underneath the feet. I'm going to pop that cushion away, but if you need it, keep it there and allow your back to settle into the chair. And just take a moment to see how is my nervous system in this moment? You may be feeling some level of agitation, some anxiety, difficulty in concentrating, or you may feel really exhausted and would rather just be curled up in bed. Or you may be feeling somewhere in the middle of that with good levels of energy and looking forward to what we're gonna do. So wherever you are, your nervous system is telling you something. And in the movement and breath we're going to explore, we're going to see if we can help you become a little bit more aware of that and how you can regulate the dysregulation that happens for all of us. So we're going to start with a little bit of movement to start with. And I'm going to invite you just to shake the arms. Now, if you're feeling really like a lot of energy in you, you could stand up if you want and really shake it, shake the whole body, shake the arms out. I'm going to come back and sit on my chair. But if you like to stand and shake, stand and shake. <sighs> and if you don't have much energy, you might be just doing a little bit of shaking. Or you might just be taking a moment to sit. Shoulders may want to move. So take a moment to bring some movement to your shoulders. And in that experience of how the shoulders are moving, make the movement as big or as small as you would like. Remembering you can stop at any time. And then we might just shake it out. That's good. Let the hands come back to resting. Now for the rest of the practice, um, you might choose to have your eyes open or your eyes closed. Sometimes when we close our eyes, it can be quite overwhelming for the nervous system. Things may come back into our memories or we may feel some of those internal experiences in our body a little bit more. So sometimes just simply opening the eyes, softening the gaze, looking around can be a great way of actually helping to regulate the nervous system. So throughout this uh, short practice today, play around with eyes open or eyes closed, whatever works for you. So we're gonna start with a little bit of movement. We've started to move the shoulders. I'm gonna invite you if you'd like to, to just drop the chin down towards the chest as far as that neck will allow. 
If you have neck problems, you may not come down as far as I will. You might be even more flexible and you might be able to touch the chin a little closer to the chest. Just notice what works for you. Just allowing the breath to settle. Remembering at any time, if this isn't helping, then you can always lift your head. We might pause just for one more breath and then gently bringing the head back to the center. We can drop an ear to shoulder. I just heard a little pop in the back of my neck then. <laughs> ear to the other shoulder. We'll do one more each side. If you're getting dizzy with this, definitely open eyes if you've got eyes closed or stop your choice. And let's do one more movement with the head. We could look over that shoulder and then back to the other side. We're curious about noticing, let's do one more each side, the difference. One side might feel a little bit more flexible than the other, pretty normal. And then just coming back, settling into the body for a moment. You might notice the movement of breath in the body. Just feel where the breath is. Always remembering if focusing on breath is too much, then bring your awareness back to the floor underneath your feet and feel the chair on your back. You don't need to stay with your breath at any time. So always bring your attention away if you need to. Let's do a slightly bigger movement now. We're gonna do a twist for the spine. So bring the hand across to the opposite knee and then start to twist. You might hold the side of the chair or the back of the chair Depending on the twistability of your spine, see how far you might like to twist. But if you're able to, you can pause and rest there, let the breath settle. If it's not feeling comfortable, then come back to the center. If you notice any discomfort arising, please adjust what you're doing and come back towards comfort. Really important principle in this work. Let's find our way back to center and let's try the other side. Each side will feel different. <sighs> And if you want to make sounds on the out breath, that's okay too. A <laughs> moan, a groan. We're finding our way back to the middle. And I can feel a yawn. So yawning uh, is really good if you're up for a yawn. It's a very good skill to learn. Yawning on demand. Great for calibrating the nervous system. Let's do a yawn together. Uh, <sighs> good one <laughs> we're almost through the practice we've got two more moves to go before we finish uh, let's start with a little bit of a stretch so this is a bigger movement again let the arms relax by the side of the body and as you breathe in stretching up as tall as you can this is where the chair will be useful you can lean into the chair and see if you can stretch back oh and if you're behind a wall you rest your hands on the wall that feels nice and then let's roll forward, arms come down. Now come as far forward as if you want. If you don't feel comfortable folding far forward, come as far as you can. Let the arms come up behind, breathing in. Let's scoop them forward again. Let's fold back into that nice big stretch. Pause and rest there. You might even stretch your legs out as well. There's my feet. <laughs> Look at the feet. Look at your legs, your upper body. Look up to your fingertips and that's your body in space, supported by the chair. <sighs> and then let's bring the arms down. Let the body have whatever movement it might want to have. Listen to your body. Be curious about your body. <sighs> and sometimes after that stretch, the diaphragm might open a little. So pause for a moment. See if there's any extra little length in your breath. There may be, may not be. <sighs> We've got one little final thing to do together. So I'll demonstrate first of all what we're going to do. We're going to raise our arms up as we breathe in and we're going to bring our arms back down as we breathe up. And you can work this to the rhythm of your breath. So you can work eyes open or eyes closed, really your choice. But as we breathe in, bringing the arms up, and as we breathe out, slowly bringing the arms and hands back to resting. And just work with this in your own time. If you feel okay closing your eyes, you might be able to feel the rhythm of your own breath. So as you move in, arms coming up, moving out, arms coming down. 
If feeling the breath as we work with this is too much, remember to stop the practice and come back to feeling the floor underneath the feet, the back of the chair supporting the spine. Let's do one more of those. Breathing in, raising arms up as far as they want. Breathing out, hands coming back down. Just pause for a moment. Those little movements the body wants to make, just go with them. And just to conclude our time together, we might do three of those together. So I'm going to set the pace and the opportunity here for you is to stay in the same rhythm as me. You might increase the breath or decrease the breath depending on how fast or slow you breathe. Let's see if we could do three together. So breathing in and out. Two more. Last one. And pause and notice the breath, notice the body. You might even notice just for this little period of time, thinking may have changed a bit. You might be a little more aware of where your body is in space. And just take a moment to let your body have whatever little finishing movement it might like. I'm going to just do another little shimmy shake. Thanks everyone for taking the time and joining me in a trauma sensitive yoga little vignette of what we could do. If you like today and are curious, you know, seek out a trauma sensitive yoga class, um, you know, and check whether your clinician that you work with is familiar with how movement and breath can also help regulate your nervous system. After the practice, you might want to make yourself a cup of tea. You might be feeling ready for a rest now, or you might be feeling energized to go for a walk. Take care of yourselves and have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.